Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird shit that's been happening here lately. I'm supposed to head over there right now at the security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Will the young lady who just entered the park please immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos said you'd be f***ing me. Miss Santos's orders. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove card. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this cursed shit. How long have you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and f***ed my way up. Do you have any idea what caused that roller coaster accident? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is f***ed. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever f*** him. Busy guy. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chen. But try not to f*** him. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Oh, shit. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? F**k. Nothing like a game of bitch tosses are. You have four fun credits left on your card. Catapult the bitch through the hoop. You're about to play swimmers, bitch. Who are you? And what the f**k are you doing? Who said that? I said that. Over here. Keep going. Over here. Go f yourself. Has anyone else ever found anything? Not that I know of. But then there's a lot of shitty people out there. Looks like Joy's a pencil f**ker. Hmm. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get f***ed. Well, Miss Destructo returns. And that Renacop, I've got no desire to see anything of him. Did you two have some kind of run-in? What, like a fight or something? How could we? He's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever f***ed. <laughs> totally creeps me out. Oops, guess I really blew it. <laughs> As it were. I'm not in the mood for shit jokes, Nancy. Nor am I in the mood for paying for any more of your shit. So guess what? You're off the case. You were electrocuted? Uh, that's what Harlan said must have happened. I was out cold when he f***ed me. I can't afford to have you f***ing around the park getting into accidents, Nancy. How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange f***. Very dark around the edges. But then... It's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Why do you think that is? She's f***ing something. Something very big and very dark. F I'm trapped! Oh, sh Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and f***ed. You were f***ing around in here? Well... I came in here looking for you, yes, but... An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random f***ing behavior. I didn't know I was being watched. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to f*** him. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? Actually, maybe I do. Oh? What? You failed to mention that he's one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to f***. Very true. This is going to sound like a really odd question, but if someone asked you to get him the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you do? Same thing any normal person would do. Ask him what the f*** he was talking about. Right. <clears throat> Someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh, sh I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of sh A what? 
your favorite tune was? The one you heard on the carousel? It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was shitty. I thought all the rides in the park were shitty. How do I know you even know, Miss Santos? Look, if you want to f*** her, I've got her number right here. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness to f*** my boss. You're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy f***! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Chapel River is right here in the end of my day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ed, I gotta go! Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in. Come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. Besides, nobody's been hurt, except that f***ing con artist who claims his f got injured, Lance Huffington. I understand that you f***ed the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really f*** him. What did you talk to him about? I called him to tell him to rub his f*** three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his f*** is really injured, that will cure it. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. Well, it seems that one of the security guards has been doing a little extracurricular surveillance work. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this ass was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's a real bitch. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She f***ed me because she thought I deserved a second chance. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to f*** it up. I guess I was a little bitch too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? Those look like horse f***s. I think we're all set. Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. F me. <laughs> Hooray! I did f the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You f***ed it so much that your mother bought it for you. <sighs> Okay, if you want to know the truth, I was going to try my hand at carving a carousel horse to replace the stolen one. I didn't want to tell anybody in case I s**k at it. Why would you need several s**ks if you're just carving one horse? You know, Nance, I've got a lot of work to do. And much as I love our little s**k fests, my work just ain't getting done. So I'm afraid, as of now, this chat room is closed. F off. According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of a ball, you know what I mean? Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Shitty. That was it. Shitty. He always called her shitty. Here it comes again. Must be jewels from that jewel heist. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you f***ed this horse and how dearly you love the bitch who gave it to you. Nancy, 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 what the f have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to f*** anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Well, well. Little icing on the c***. That's right. You want them? Here. F hey! I'm trapped. 
I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're f***ed. You might as well give up. End of the road, detective. Dear Ned, after f***ing Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. Needless to say, he's gone back to not f***ing me. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started f***ing and has yet to stop. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was f***ing the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy.